Hi you guys, this is Laura and I'm back with another video. And this is take two. <laughs> so we're gonna see what we can do. Um, again, or should I say, first of all, it is after my bedtime, it is after 10 o'clock at night. I do have to go to work in the morning and my oldest has a neurologist appointment tomorrow. But at the same time, I wanted to come and do this video while I had a little bit of quiet time. <laughs> So I wanted to um, shoot this video really quick. Um, back in 2020, which I guess is kind of the start of COVID, technically, um, I journaled and then I kind of took a break. COVID hit hard. Um, I changed jobs twice in COVID, um, but that was a blessing in disguise because I have currently been at my current job for 15 months now and I just I got two promotions within that time and I just got a substantial raise last week so yes thank you COVID for that at least <laughs> um but I took a small break for almost a year and I did a couple of journal with me videos on the with the journal that I was using. And so I just wanted to kind of do a flip through of that because I felt like I'd never did a, an official flip through, just an introduction. So um, the journal I'm talking about is this journal right here. Um, now the stickers on the front, this one, this one, this one, and this one, oh, and this one, come from a couple of sticker packs I got from Walmart. These two, and then the Sailor Moon and the Harry Potter stickers all come from Wish. Was it Wish? was AliExpress. I think it was Wish. I want to say it was Wish. So I think I got all those right before COVID hit. So um, this is a Midori, what they call a Midori notebook. Um, and I started this on May 12th of 2020 and I finished it on November 17th. So I did not journal on this every day, of course, because it would not have taken me that long. Um, when I started, I think it was like a day before or two months before Mother's Day. Might have been a day after. But this is a card that my daughter made for me. Um, this is the day that I got my Nintendo Switch Lite. Um, and then, of course, I had to go get my case and temper glass for it. So I picked up Bayonetta 2. It just says Bayonetta there, but it's actually Bayonetta 2 um, from GameStop. And Animal Crossing, which is still popular, but was super, super popular when I got it in 2020. Um, they were sold out of... The new copies they had not even had any used copies yet but uh when we went to walmart to pick up like just cleaning things for the house walmart had one copy left and it was actually ten dollars cheaper than what uh gamestop was selling for so when when this day we went to the park um they put in a new bridge the other bridge was it was old but it wasn't bad but i guess they were just trying to revamp the park because the park does look a little bit different now um, this is my oldest daughter. She went with us that day, which I was super happy about because she hardly ever gets out. Um, this day, I believe I had a job interview. I'm not entirely sure, but I feel like I was dressed for a job interview. <laughs> um, this day, we had homemade pizza. Just little things you get from the Dollar Tree. Except for the cheese, because they're shredded cheese, unless you get... Is it the Sorrento when they have it for like a dollar, which they didn't have at that day, that day that we went? Um, the other cheese does not melt. It does not melt at all. So, um, and it just flips out. Um, I had something called Club Tails. Um, it was apparently 10% alcohol. Um, I don't remember a lot about it. So apparently either I didn't like it or I liked it enough to stick in my journal, but I didn't buy it again. This day I started meal prepping and carrying my... my um, food to work because I was trying to eat healthier, lose a little bit of weight. Um, and then you see my Activia back there for um, digestion issues. And because there was a lot of times that we would go in at eight or nine o'clock in the morning and we would not get off until um, eight o'clock at night. So I definitely had to make sure I had enough snacks, just some stickers and a cutout from, I think it was one of the little like, um, Ulta pamphlets that they send in the mail every so many months or whatever. It was either that or it was Boxy Charm. I think I was doing Boxy Charm at this time too. Oh, and then my sink got fixed. I had my sink was messed up, had been messed up for almost two weeks, and they finally fixed it. <laughs> um, Animal Crossing. This was not my island. It was one that I had found on. 
I want to say Google, but I'm not entirely sure. I was looking for island ideas. I love Animal Crossing. Love it, love it, love it. But I just didn't know, I guess, how to really work with things at first. So I watched a, a few videos, watched some, I read some blogs about it. So um, here I was playing Muscle Prom and I actually printed this out with my daughter's Kodak. Kodak camera, not the camera, but printer. The quality is not very good. Um, here I've just got some cutouts from a magazine. I'm trying to remember the magazine I got it from. I don't remember. Um, this day I had to get I had to get new mattresses for my children, so this came in the box, and I just kind of kept it. Um, this day I was also playing Animal Crossing with a friend and so I took a picture in the basement and then just stuck it in my journal, um, Riverdale. So I am a pretty big fan of Riverdale, um, coming here to you now, um, in 2022, the last season was, it was good. I just don't like some of the things that happen, which I won't go into more detail because if anybody's watches Riverdale and have not finished watching the latest season and I don't want to spoil it for you. Um, but I was completely hooked. However, I didn't watch it. Like I guess normal people would, they would watch the new episode that comes out every week. Um, I literally just let all that happen and then I will binge watch. it. <laughs> it's just better for me to binge watch. I don't know. I just, I prefer it that way. I did the same thing with Charmed. Um, I think in 2020, it was only one season. I think there's three now. I think there's three seasons, but I'm not sure. Um, this day, I had some lemon ginger herbal tea. Um, and it says it has probiotics and supports healthy digestion, which I didn't know. But I know that that day, it really helped my throat, which was hurting. And it helped to relax me. Um, anxiety and depression is like, it's horrible. It's worse than now since I'm pregnant. But I mean, you... We have to do what we, what we have to do to try to take care of it. And this watchy I'm, I'm just looking at, it. it's just so gorgeous. It's just like so glittery. <laughs> um, this day I ordered a backpack from Walmart because I was thinking it would be easier to carry a backpack than having to carry out two bags of work. So um, I, I got one that wasn't too big, wasn't too small. It was black and silver and it was Kindle and Kylie. I got it for like $8 because apparently it was out of season. My daughter says that she knows who's Kendall and Kylie is I still to this day don't know who they are but they made a very very great backpack I still have it and I still use it every now and again Belvita sandwiches this is my favorite kind the dark chocolate um and then I this says pink I don't know if I got this I'm trying to remember what it was because the last thing I brought that was like really pink was um a skater skirt from Amazon so I'm thinking because I have brought a black one love the black one Got a great outfit and then they had hot pink and purple. The purple one has um, black bats on it and I brought both of them. But the last thing I brought that was pink, I think, was that skater skirt. I'm not sure. Um, this day, my daughter Maite got a good note from her teacher um, saying that she was so proud. So I stuck that in here. I have these cards um, with this pretty like the holographic stars on it, basically, or glittery stars. And I just kind of cut one up and journaled on it. Um, I was sending them out in some of my happy mail. Um, this day, because I had to switch light, I have, a, I have a regular switch now. I purchased a stand so that way it can stand up, but it also can charge from that stand. And I got like a $20 controller, which I still have and still works very, very good from Amazon. Um, but my daughter has this. Um, it is Bluetooth, basically. Um because I don't have a switch light anymore, but she has a light. So I have the switch, the Nintendo switch. And my youngest daughter has a switch as well. My oldest just doesn't like systems that go the hook to the TV. She prefer to just have a handheld. So this day I got some new washi. Ariana Grande, which my kids love. She does sound wonderful. There's a certain ring that's like Mariah Carey. That's there to me. I could be wrong, but to me, it's kind of there. Um, this is just some Harry Potter stickers that I had. This one, this one was from Wish and the rest of these are from Target, I think. <laughs> um, this day my mother had to go to the emergency room. Um, she was having really, really bad back and leg pain. And we found out the day that she has sciatica. 
Um, and of course I was outside in the parking lot waiting because they were only letting patients in due to COVID. This day I cooked and it just kind of flips out with more journaling in behind it. Um, I got a card from Samantha and I don't know if you can really tell that, but it's a lot of glitter on there. It's really, really pretty. Just like this washi tape here. I cannot remember where I got that washi tape from. Probably Michael's, but I'm not entirely sure. Um. Then this day I tried the fudge brownie M&M's. I could not even eat well, this whole pack. Like, this is a regular pack, not even king size. Um, or share, I think they call it share packs now. Um, it was so sweet. Like they were they were good, but they were so sweet. They remind me so much of like peanut butter. If you just eat a spoonful of peanut butter, like, you know, you're just so thirsty. That's how I was after eating like four of them. So this day was my uncle's birthday. This is the cake that we got him from Walmart. Um, I love the cafe on the outside and then on the inside it was like rainbow. Yeah, like rainbow. It had like four layers of different colors. So just some cutouts. And then this day, this was a small haul that I had taken a picture of um, from uh, those tags were like Tuesday morning. I want to say it's Tuesday morning and it just kind of flips out when we're journaling in behind it. Um, this day I got some happy mail. So this is the envelope that she sent it in. And this was my address. Um, I don't know what she's getting these, but they're gorgeous. Apparently she's got different princesses on each one. So they're really pretty. This day was more of a mermaid slash sea theme. Um, more cutouts. I think these are actually die cuts that I had in a pack that I got rid of. And then um, these were just cutouts from a magazine same as these and here I'm just using up stickers <laughs> pretty much um, and then a little bit of makeup here um, you guys know I love my makeup I don't wear it as much as I used to but I still love it <laughs> I am seriously thinking about about getting back on the boxy charm wagon I do it I do it every year but I only do it for like half of the year so it's it's time it's time um, this is Animal Crossing. I actually got this from, I think it was Google. I can't remember. I just looked up Animal Crossing. And, and I think this is someone's character that they made. But she was just so cute. So I just printed out a regular print of paper and put it in my journal. These are rub -ons. I cannot remember from where. I know I got them from Michaels. I know I got them from Michaels. But I just don't know what brand they are. I still have some, but they're packed right now and I really cannot pull them out and more glitter washi of course um here this is my where I got my sticker for my switch uh it's light so this was it here this is what it looks like on the back side it looked like this it was more of a matted one but I I really liked it um and then I end up changing to I want to say it was something with stars and moons, but I'm not entirely sure. Um, but it was, it was pretty. And I think I got it for like $12. So it really wasn't bad. And it was here within a week. Um, I don't have the switch light anymore. I do have the regular switch and this is the current one that I have. I've had this one on here oof, for a while. Um, I just, the quality is so good. And of course I've got the, the other pieces that go to the actual base to the switch. And it's just Demon Slayer. So, like, I've been a big fan of Demon Slayer for a while now. And I just, I haven't changed it because it just haven't, it hasn't done anything. I just keep this clear case over it. And if I ever have to take it off, like, there hasn't been any issues. So I just kind of left it. Um, I went to the Mexican store this day. And I got a tortilla presser. Um, mine was just completely shot, which I had for about four years anyways. This day... Um, my step grandfather brought me a Betty Boop nightgown from Walmart because he knows I love Betty Boop. But, uh, to me it was kind of, it fit, but it was just kind of snug trying to sleeping in it. So I gave it to my oldest daughter. Um, this day I was playing Harry Potter. So I took a picture with my light and, um, just printed it out. So, you know, set it to my phone and printed it out and I just added some Harry Potter stickers in there. 
Um, this day, it looks like from the bags, the Aldi bags that we went grocery shopping. And I'm pretty sure we probably went to Barnes & Noble that day. Um, just looking at the picture, I think that's what we did. So, um, my oldest is there as well, but she didn't want to be in the picture. <laughs> just a few stickers from a Michael sticker book. Then I got this llama, um, happy mail from Sherry. And included was these llama like, um, notes, like stick it notes almost. So I just put one down and journal on this instead of actually journal on the page. More stickers from um, a Michael sticker book. This was the day before my birthday and um, my mom brought me this Farberware. It's a single serve coffee maker so it takes like a little K-cups but this one actually has two um, I guess attachments. You can put the K-cup in or you could put like ground coffee in. So I still have it. 2022 is still working great by the way. <laughs> um, this was the the Michaels haul that I had got. I went and got extra stickers, but from from these packs, this is where these stickers come from. These stickers right here. They all come from these packs that I got from Walmart. So I just took a picture of what I got and threw it in here. Um, this day I actually got some knockoff uh, uh, Apple AirPods. Um, they were like $20 at Walmart. They had great reviews. I always look at reviews. I have and it's still, it's bad. I don't even, I don't even work at Walmart anymore. And I still have the Walmart app so I can look at reviews and see how much things are because they will price match. So if it says online that it's a certain price, but it's $3 or $4, even $10 more in the store, they're price match. So I keep that app constantly, but, um, I got it, I got it from there. And, um, there was a lot of going on in the department I was working at, at Walmart. So having something soothing and calm, some kind of music. I think I was listening to a lot of meditation stuff too then. Um, in one ear <laughs> helped a lot. So these are some Dollar Tree wall decal stickers. Um, I have some of them left, but um, I just add them to the page. And then this day I was playing um, Marissa Prom with Junkie Bee. And um he sent me some happy mail and this is all of this is basically from the happy mail that I got. So and I kept telling myself I was gonna journal here, but I, I never did. So I just kinda left it there because it it's still very dear to me because it was actually, you know, made because we were playing the game together. So um just some cutouts from a magazine, more cutouts. More Animal Crossing. I was addicted. I still play you guys, just not as much as I used to. Work has been, let me tell you. And then my baby is due in May. So um, they're not, I don't want to use the word replacement, but it kind of is, is like they're looking for my replacement for, for me when I'm out for my eight to 12 weeks. So um, more cutouts. This was part of the stickers that I had got from one of my um, ex-co-workers from Walmart. This day, uh, I went to Barnes & Noble and I picked up this witchery book and moon spells. I have, which one did I read? I actually bought, read both of them. The moon spells, I don't have anymore, but the rich, rich, witchery, I still have that book. It's on my bookshelf right now. Um, and then this was the first day a physical school for my children. It wasn't the first day of school, but a physical school. So I took a picture of them and added it. Um, Care Bears, you could probably see the lines going through it from the backside. It was part of a calendar that I got from Dollar Tree. Um, and this was a picture that, oof, this picture is actually old, um, but I still liked it. I was actually working at Boost Mobile. I know what kind of shirt this is. I was at Boost Mobile at the time. So it's actually very old. I completely skipped this page. I don't know how. I don't know what happened. And I just never did go back and fill it in. So, um, this is the next day. Just a few stickers here. And I think this is where I kind of start. Eh, I'm just kind of throwing stickers on a writing. Like, it's not. I started going into that. I don't want to say a journal funk. It's just there was a lot of life happening. And. With so much life happening, some things I didn't really want to write about, but I kind of knew that I needed to write because this was really my only outlet. Um, 
I don't tend to keep a lot of friends to talk to. So this is the reason why I journal because it's, it's how I get everything out if I need it out. So these are actually, um, window clings and I just glue them down. Um, magazine clippings, more magazine clippings, but you can just tell compare it to what I was doing before. And then doing this, I was just, I was windling down, like life was beating me. Um, and I'm not going to lie. A lot of these entries were probably not very good entries. And then I tried to get back to what I was doing here because it was her birthday. Um, and this is the cake that we got her. It had Oreos and strawberries on top and it was a, uh, for this leche cake. So it was very, very good. Um, but I tried to get back into like my normal style journaling, but it didn't last for long. <laughs> um, this is more Halloweenish. Yeah. October. Like I, there were, there were times that I went about two or three weeks without doing anything. These are more of those window clings, um, here as well. And I think this is actually supposed to be over here. It came loose. It looks like, I don't know if I can get it up. Ah, there we go. I'll go back and add that. <laughs> um, more Halloween. And these were, I want to say they were window clings as well, but these came from the Dollar Tree. Now these little ones are so cute. They're adorable. And then I, I don't know if you can see it, but it's really glittery there. Like all of his wrappings and his white shirt and his white sneakers are glittery. Um, same thing here with the wing of bat. This was my youngest daughter's costume. She's kind of thick around the middle. So we got her medium and a woman and she absolutely loved it. Um, I think she still has it possibly. She tends to kind of hold on to her Halloween costumes, but that's just her. Um, and then I was um, red, red riding hood. That was the costume I wore that year. Um, and then we go into fall. So it goes from like October 31st to November 1st. Okay. So I didn't skip that day, but then it goes from November 1st to November 25th. Um, and like I said, it's more writing than anything. A few more stickers here. I was trying to get into the holiday season. I really, really love Christmas. Um, I love Halloween too, but I was really like those three months. Like I normally, I can't say I go overboard with decorating my journal, but I just, I, I feel the season. So I was thinking if I decorate a little bit more, maybe it would help with that. Um, this is from a game of forma. And then that is actually the last page because what I did, I went from November 27th straight to December 1st, but I already did a flip through of that particular journal. It was the black journal with the snowman on it. That was just my Christmas journal. And my idea was to come back to this one and finish, but I never did. So like I wasted all these pages, which is absolutely horrible. But, um, I put the journal up, completely forgot about it. Now that I know <laughs> where it is, I plan on probably just yanking these pages out and using them in my current journal. So, and then back here is just like, um, testing pages, <laughs> I test like stamps and stuff like that. And I just, yeah, just to see what it looks like going through the page, how much it would bleed through. So yeah. And I have, I've, I've, uh, purchased another one just like this. I just haven't, sorry about that. So I haven't started it. So you guys, I know that was kind of a long video, but I wanted to come and, um, I wanted to come on here and, and show you that particular journal that I never got to show. So I want to say thank you for watching.